the suspension is great and this is a fairly bumpy road I can tell it is not because of the bike but because uh, the windshield is kind of shaky but you know I'm not even feeling it my body is not suffering any consequences there whatsoever it's just a pretty awesome bike good job Indian well this bike's balanced extremely well okay I'm on a 22 Indian Roadmaster now the seating position is a little, a little bit weird it's a little bit taller so it's typical for me on these uh, touring bikes they sit a little bit higher and the seat tends to pull on my inner leg so but I'm flat footing it it's just a little bit weird on uh, my legs so not a bad thing actually it's a little bit better than what I'm used to okay Pete if you're watching this one I'd be willing to bet you are I'm on a Roadmaster stock Roadmaster <laughs> So you're going to wonder, do I think this is better than the Road Glide? So I feel like I'm sitting up higher, which is kind of cool. Let's talk about the engine. Buttery smooth. And this thing has how much torque? 119 foot-pounds of torque. The throttle is responsive, that's good leans great it sounds like a bike should when it takes off very buttery smooth and I sit up high I can see everything good it's like <laughs> it's kind of like uh, being in a truck <laughs> well not even really close but um, you sit higher up in a truck right it kind of in that sense it feels kind of like a truck I can flat foot this though that's important to me and if you're looking at the camera angle here it might be hard for you to see over the fairing but I can tell you I can see over it just fine this is a nice bike I could definitely see myself riding this all day it's a very responsive bike, meaning the power is there when you want it. I mean, immediately. Man. Which is cool. That's pretty much what I expect out of a bike. I need the power there right away. And it leans good. Oh, it leans good. It's so easy to lean it. So it handles really well. And this the seating position for me is awesome the handlebars feel good the grips actually don't talk a lot about grips but the grips are fine I think that bounciness is just the windshield it's not the fairing itself so I think I'd actually prefer a fixed windshield instead of one that's adjustable but I can see the why you, I can understand why you'd want one to be adjustable though. It's just for me, I think I'd prefer it just to be in a fixed position all the time. But what I appreciate about these big baggers, all the runs I've ridden anyways, is that uh, it seems to me that the power is manageable. But if you want it, it's immediately there. So you can, it can be a nice, docile, comfortable, chill ride, but it can be a challenging, aggressive ride too, if you want it to be. I'm really digging it. I like the Roadmaster, Pete. And when you get on it a little bit, it sounds good. I'd want to do like Pete did though and really, you know, make it, you know, louder. <laughs> I definitely feel the heat coming off the right side. 
So if I put my feet more forward, if I put my feet more forward where they really should be, I don't feel that anymore. And look at that dashboard. It's, that's a sexy dashboard, man. Of course, if I wanted to have tunes, supposedly the infotainment system on this bike is like the best out there. Indian has other bikes with the same kind of infotainment system where it's very customizable. This is a cool ass bike. Did I pick this? They have other Roadmasters available to ride. Pick this one because this is because I like the color. <laughs> and color is very subjective. Unless you're Pete, then all bikes need to be black and chrome as God intended. I pretty much agree with that. 95%. I definitely can understand it. But I like, uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of reds. Oh, it's really easy to get up to speed. It's like there's no effort whatsoever. Now I'm used to Harleys and having uh, controls for your shift, or your, I'm um, not shifting, but um, your turn signals on both sides. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> But that's not a fault with the bike, that's uh, just what I'm used to kind of thing. I like everything about this bike. And that's all I'm doing today. It's giving you an impression of what it's like to ride. I feel like it leans really good. That's the thing I think I've been uniquely impressed with the Indian bikes I've ridden today is that they all seem to handle the corners extremely well. This is a very confidence inspiring bigger touring bike. Hey there. Good job, Indian. The difference between this bike and the Road Glide, the Road Glide has a fixed fairing. I mean, the fairing is always in one position. The handlebars move independently of the fairing. And this fairing moves with the handlebars. It's more like a street glide. The torque is awesome. That 119 foot was it 119 yeah 119 foot pounds of torque really gets this thing moving now like all the other bikes that i've been riding today i'll put up a lot of different information on the screen prices and all that but i can tell you this is a really good bike and it'd be an excellent touring bike I know for a fact these bikes can go a thousand miles in a day without any freaking problem. And that's thanks to Pete. These are very nice looking bikes too. I think the Thunderstroke engine is such a cool looking engine. It just looks like a, a bear took a swipe at it and left his print on it it's so cool okay we're now we're gonna get up to highway speed it sounds really good in, when it's revving oh yeah I can tell you I could pass those guys like they were standing still it's a very comfortable bike very easy to handle very easy to control lots of power the only thing i think it's really lacking and it's not even a complaint about the motorcycle is i just want louder pipes and that's just a personal preference but other than that everything's great Man, I'm up on two wheels. It's easy to handle. I'm comfortable. I mean, it's very confidence inspiring. Look how much lean I can get on that. I don't know how well you can tell in that camera, but holy crap, it's really good. Now, I think the best way, Pete, you know, I'm talking to you a lot in this video, but I think the best way for me to decide whether the Roguelide or the Roadmaster was better is to do like you did and ride them back to back and see which one I actually prefer. And if I didn't have a preference, I would probably go at cost at that point. Or how good the dealership was. 
you know so the things I like about this bike it's it, it sits up actually I like that it sits up a little higher I can see higher above things I normally can on bikes I ride I would ride on a day-to-day -day. um it handles real well it's got a lot of torque you know there's a lot of premium features I haven't begun to look at I could be very happy on this bike and you know the suspension is great and this is a fairly bumpy road I can tell it is not because of the bike but because uh, the windshield is kind of shaky but you know I'm not even feeling it my body is not suffering any consequences there whatsoever it's just a pretty awesome bike good job Indian wonderful bike 116 cubic inches that's a lot of power right there and it, it is a torquey ass powerful bike classic fenders I think I gotta look pretty sure though yeah that's a sexy Indian right there yeah I love the color I love that color myself the black and the burgundy whatever they call that color maroon metallic over crimson metallic okay maroon oh, I love it it's cool as shit I would definitely take that home with me if I could here's that thunderstroke engine that's just sexy as shit that's so sexy that's just a beautiful engine I love the I love that engine it's just so nice looking a lot of storage capacity on this bike this is a touring beast absolutely beautiful I get why you love it Pete I really do dual exhaust sounds pretty good from stock but let's talk about price in black metallic this bike starts out at $34.99 US MSRP at another $1,500 to get it in maroon metallic slash crimson metallic both models have ABS what I can tell you about this bike is that it's very performant it handles extremely well it's balanced well I mean I could sit damn near at a dead stop at a red light or a stop sign without putting my feet down that's how well balanced it is it may be like one two miles per hour you know hardly moving and it would s stay standing up greatly balanced awesome um, this is a cornering beast and I mean that in a very positive way it handles the corners extremely well it leans like a champ and the torque is incredible and while we're on torque I want to talk about my torque figures in the video you can see on the gas tank there's a sticker and that sticker gives you information about the bike now I do believe it did say on that sticker 119 foot-pounds of torque I could have misread that and if I did that's on me obviously but if Indian printed that wrong that's fine it's really not a big deal but when I went to the Indian website they did say this bike has 126 foot-pounds of torque 126 foot-pounds of torque isn't that much different than 119 it's only seven different but it is different thus you get the correction okay in either case either figure incredible torque you got to admit that this bike has everything I want in a bike plus more more than I would actually want in a bike I don't need that excellent audio system or the extra fairing but like I said and more <laughs> I didn't know I wanted it until I was sitting on it you know what I mean it's just an awesome bike all the extra features the heated grips the heated seats with driver and passenger controls for the seats for the heat you know the touring capacity the crash bars the infotainment you may be paying a premium price for this bike but for the price you're getting an extra premium motorcycle that handles so incredibly well it is just an amazing bike I can't say enough good things about it if I have an annoyance it's the windshield now the windshield rattle a lot and you can hear it in the video now that could just be a problem with this 
specific motorcycle because it is a demo bike. Demo bikes get ridden hard and put away wet. Any number of things could have happened to the windshield that made it behave in this way. Okay, I feel that's probably what happened. If this is uh, something in the 2022 Roadmaster lineup, please let me know in the comments. So I'm rating this bike at a 9.5. I'm basically telling you it's a perfect bike. Now, if that windshield problem is existent in all the Roadmasters in 2022, it gets a 9 because I like doing long distance riding and listening to that for mile after mile after mile would get annoying. But basically a perfect bike. I mean, don't take that as bad or me dissing the bike. I'm really not. I'm basically telling you this is an awesome bike and very worthy of owning. I would definitely like owning it. And I understand why my friend Pete loves his 21 Indian Roadmaster. And let me talk about Pete a little bit. Let me give him a little bit of props for putting up with me, number one. But there's two videos on my channel about his 21 Indian Roadmaster. There's one while it was stock, and there's one where there's an update where he tuned it up, put on new pipes, and did some lighting stuff. Both videos are on my channel, and you can watch them. And there's another video where I go for a ride on my fat boy with Pete and his wife, Sarah, to Bayfield, Wisconsin. It's called Heroes, and it's one of my personal favorite videos that I've made because it honors Pete and Sarah and Sarah's father. So please go watch that. Um, but I want to talk about Pete. He has a channel. It's called The Severson Experience, and you can see his 21 Roadmaster in action going through New York, New Jersey, Maine, and all these different places that him and Sarah have been recently. He just recently started doing this channel, so please go show him some love. There will be a link in the description. He's an excellent human being. Sarah's an excellent human being. They are both my heroes, and if you go watch them, maybe you'll see why. Go like, comment, and subscribe there. So, this has been Codger. You can follow me on Twitter at Rider Codger Game. I want to remind all bikers to ride safe and keep the shiny side up. I want to remind everyone else to live their best life. And I want to remind everyone, please thank a veteran or active service member for their service. They have earned your respect and gratitude. Have a great one. Man, what bike do I ride? The fat boy? Or the low rider? I don't really know. Probably the fat boy. The low rider's a lot of fun, but I'll tell you what you can do. You can like, comment, and subscribe, and share. While I try to decide which one I'm gonna ride. It's the best problem to have. <laughs>